Hey guys, welcome back to 1776 or bust. So on the table you see something a little bit different and that of course would be the rifle that's sitting in front of you. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this rifle is I actually just got this. Um, previously I did own a Marlin 336, but it was the basic one. It had the, uh, you know, the um, laminate stock. It wasn't anything special. The finish on it was crappy. And, it, you know, it was it a decent shooting gun. Yes, I love shooting the 3030, um, like the 336. And as a lefty, um, you know, it really helps me quite a bit. You know, there's a lot of rifles out there, bolt actions, semi-autos, these types of guns. Um, unfortunately, they're not exactly uh, friendly left-handed rifle kind of rifles, um, bolt actions especially. Now, have I shot a bolt action that's for the right-handed shooter? Yes, I have. But, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, you can get what you can get. So in this regards, what I decided to do was to go ahead and um, basically just buy a rifle that I felt served a great purpose for me personally. Now, what I mean by that is that with this rifle, what you're seeing in front of you is, is in my opinion, just the perfect rifle for simplicity. Now, it's nothing fancy. I mean, yes, it is a very nice looking stainless steel rifle. It has the black walnut stock on it. All the internals are made of stainless steel, so that's great. So you know you're going to get very good uh, corrosion resistant, uh, uh, resistance out of this thing. But for me, I was looking for something that was comfortable to shoot, that wasn't extremely heavy, and that was usable in, let's say, a crisis type of uh, issue. Now, what I mean by that is that in New York State, obviously, we have all these stupid laws up here for dangerous rifles like ARs and AKs because, you know, if they look scary, then they must be more deadlier than other rifles that don't look scary. So what I decided to do was when I was looking around for a rifle... I sat back and I started looking at the ARs and their platform, and I realized that just for me to get an AR uh, to be New York State compliant, I would have to pay so much extra dollars just to have a compliant rifle. So I started to say to myself, is it really worth it? Do I really want to pin a magazine and have to feed it in manually for, you know, for the 10 rounds? Or did I want to, you know, not have a pistol grip and have some ridiculous stock on there that made it really just awkward to shoot? So instead, I decided to turn back time and actually go back and pick up another Marlin. Now, obviously, this one's a little bit nicer than my old one. I should say a lot nicer. And what I decided to do with this is I decided to set up in a set the whole rifle up in like a scout rifle type mode. Now, this doesn't necessarily fit the criteria. It's a little bit too heavy. It's 11 pound rifle. But uh, ultimately, I was looking for something that was unique, but also something extremely usable. So just to kind of show you very quickly, what I put on here was I put on an excess sight system lever scout rail. And uh, as you can see, I put my Vortex Venom red dot on the front. And I have to say, um, after, you know, just sighting it and playing with it a little bit, uh, it sits extremely nice. Um, as a matter of fact, when you shoulder the rifle, it actually just goes right perfectly to the eye. And uh, I have to say, I really, really like the setup of Scout Rifles in general. Now, also, just so you know, there are some irons on here. I did put on a uh, Williams peep sight in the back. And let me see if I can just manually maneuver this rifle. And in the front, you can see I also put the... Uh, the fiber optic side on the front so i mean overall it's a really nice rifle it's not too heavy it's easily maneuverable and do i think it still has a purpose yes absolutely would this be the type of rifle that i would take with me in a horrible you know catastrophic disaster type of scenario well maybe maybe not i mean for me personally i think this has a great place the 3030 cartridge has quite a bit of punch to it uh in regards to just being a good self-defense uh type of um you know, caliber, um, also a hunting caliber. I mean, it has a lot of great uses for the caliber. And while many people have turned away from this and gone to more modern rifles, I still think the lever action has a role and a place in our society. And I'm very happy to own this thing. So I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Love to hear what you think about the Marlin 336 and stainless steel. Let me know if you think a lever action still has a place. And, um, and I'll see what I, you know, what you guys say. So I hope you guys have a great night. Told you I'd keep it short. And uh, don't forget, tomorrow night we're going to have our live stream with myself, Big Johnson, and KS Gun Guy. It'll be on my channel, so please stay tuned to that and turn in and you know ask some great questions. We have a, uh, a really good topic to discuss tomorrow, and that's going to be about the P320 and this new controversy over it being drop safe or not. So I hope you guys have a great night. Stay safe out there. And as always, freedom is never free.